In this lesson, we're going to be creating what I call a wireframe inside of Adobe XD that we're going to be using as the basis for our final design. Now, inside of here, you'll notice that in our previous lesson, we created this simple style guide in Adobe XD. So we're going to use this same artboard, but create an additional artboard. Adobe XD supports multiple what they call artboards. So we can come over here and we can just grab this style guide and duplicate it and copy it over. So if you come over here and you get your artboard tool and you hover over here, you can just click and it will just create another artboard with the same dimensions over here to the right. So we're gonna call this one right here, our wireframe. Now, another feature here inside of Adobe is the ability to add in an overlay on your artboard. You can see here that the artboard itself has a few properties over here in the right hand panel. And one of those is called grid. So if I turn on grid, there's two different types of grids I can overlay. I can do this column type here, or I can do this sort of square grid like so. Now we're going to use the one called columns here and we're just gonna temporarily have this turned on. You can see you can have, you can customize the amount of columns. We actually want four columns and we're going to leave our gutter width set to 16 pixels. Again, if we want our, if we want a wider gutter, we could adjust that accordingly. Now, the reason we've opted for a four column layout, I explained in the few lessons back when we did our sketching, but as a quick recap, four columns gives the most flexibility for people to be able to design, have a little bit of customization, but then also be able to follow along with the technical HTML and CSS videos, which we're going to be getting to in the future lessons. If you do a full custom layout and you design everything just the way you want, you'll probably get a little bit frustrated when we get to the code because my code won't match your layout. So I encourage you to stick with the four columns, feel free to customize it and tweak it how you want but this way you'll be able to follow along with the future lessons in your own projects. So let's go ahead and get started here with our layout. So we're just going to do some basic wireframing with the rectangle tool. So let's go ahead and grab the rectangle tool and let's just drag out our first option here is going to be for our header. And that's gonna be a full width element. So our site will mostly fit inside of this uh, four columns, but maybe we want to have some elements that stretch all the way from side to side. So that's why we're going to have this top header, which is going to house our menu, be a full stretchy element. So what we do here is we just come in here and we give it a fill color. So the fill color can really be whatever you want. In fact, I'm just going to pick big bright colors for now. So that'll be for that one. And then we can use the option drag tool. So I'm just gonna create another copy of this and pull it right below here and make it a little bit wider. And I'm really not paying attention to the heights and widths. I'm just gonna kind of do a little bit of wireframing to get things close. I'll adjust it here in a minute. So that one looks good there. This is gonna be for maybe like a featured uh, section where maybe I do a slider or I have a featured image or something like that below the navigation menu. Then I'm gonna add my content area. So let's go ahead and just grab another one here. This content area is going to fit inside of the area. So I'm gonna zoom in to 100%, Command-1 on the keyboard shortcut there, and just drag this one out manually. So this one's gonna maybe come over three columns. Let's say it spans three columns and maybe goes to right there. And again, just make up some fill color. It doesn't really matter. Any old color will work fine. And then lastly, I'm gonna add my last one here and again, any old fill. So we'll just pick a random color here and that should work fine. So we sort of have our main content area and then maybe a little featured area for a sidebar or something like that. Now you can see that this page, my page is gonna be much, much taller than the 768 pixels. So I'm just gonna select this artboard here and just drag this taller for whatever I need. Now. I'll illustrate one of the interesting things here in just a second, but you can see this little blue bar that's laid across there. That's gonna come into play here in just a minute. So next I'll add maybe two more sections. So I'll just go ahead, I'm gonna grab this one and just option drag it down. And I'm gonna try to maintain, I'm watching that little pink number. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm watching that little pink number over there on the left that says 16, because I want this to have the same gap 
as my gutter has over, over here. This guy's gonna span all four columns. And then I'll have one more down below. I'm just gonna option drag. And again, I'm watching that number, make sure it's on 16. And then I'll just drag this guy up and this will act as my footer element. So now let's just recolorize these. We'll make this one a different color, make this one here a different color. Did I already use red up here? I did. So we'll swap this one out. We will make it red. Let's make it, uh, da -da -da. let's make it green. Did I use green? I did. I used all the colors. Oh, well, doesn't really matter. Any color will work fine. Let's make it kind of a black. There we go. All right. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and zoom out. You can get your zoom tool here and hold down option to zoom out and plus to zoom in. Or you can use the keyboard shortcuts. Command one is 100%. Command two, command three, and command zero will show you all of your artboards. So that's 100. Command three uh, will zoom in to whatever element you have selected all the way full screen. So that's kind of a few shortcuts there. All right, now let's go ahead and turn off that grid. So we're gonna come back to our artboard and we're gonna just hide that grid here. So we'll come up to the grid and let's just turn that off. So this is going to be the rough layout, what I call wireframe for our project. Now I'm gonna switch a few of these colors because I don't like colors that are similar. And I definitely have uh, too many colors that look alike. And we'll brighten this one up a little bit. All right, so that is our entire wireframe all designed out inside of Adobe XD. And we're gonna use that artboard as the basis for the next lesson where we actually do the actual design and comping out and mocking up our entire design right here inside of Adobe XD.